Hello again, I'm John Power. I hope you're enjoying these discussions as much as I am. I remember back in 1973 when my wife Claudette and I took some classes very similar to these. We learned about how to have a relationship with God and how to be filled with the Holy Spirit and how to live the life of the Kingdom of God. And I remember hearing about a couple of verses in the letter to the Colossians and I've read them many times since then, but they really impacted me back in 1973. Let me show them to you. They're in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 and verse 14. For God the Father has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness by transferring us into the kingdom of Jesus, the Son that He loves. And in Jesus, we've been purchased out of slavery and had all our sins forgiven. Now from this verse, we learn some very, very important lessons. Number one, you used to be children of the kingdom of darkness. You see, before you were born again, you lived in an invisible kingdom, ruled by Satan. His goal was to make you feel content with your lifestyle and keep you separated from God's love. And his goal was to fill you with his nature, keeping you away from the truth, so that when you die, you'll eternally be separated from God. But here's the good news. God rescued you from that kingdom. He sent Jesus to provide a way out of the old kingdom of darkness and into the new kingdom of God's great love. I want to read to you from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 6. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live, when you follow the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of darkness, the evil spirit which is now at work in all those who are disobedient to God. We all lived among them at one time, satisfying the desires of our old sinful nature, doing whatever felt good or seemed right to us. Like the rest, we were by nature enemies of God's love. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were spiritually and eternally dead in our sins. It is God's grace that saved us. And God resurrected us with Christ and set us down with Him in the heavenly realms of His kingdom in Christ Jesus. You see, the lifestyle of the kingdom of darkness was a lifestyle of wrong thinking and wrong practices. These things formed a sinful culture that we need to be separated from. Jesus said, you're not of this world, meaning you're not of the kingdom of this world. You know, this explained a lot for me because personally, I looked at the life I used to live before I was born again, and then I looked at the life that the Bible says God wants me to live, and it just didn't look the same. So it doesn't matter if you were a terrorist or a drug dealer before you were born again. The fact is, when you're not born again, you're not a part of his kingdom. You're separated from the kingdom of God. Just as the kingdom of darkness had a certain lifestyle and sinful culture, the kingdom of God's love also has a lifestyle and culture. In order for you to live the new lifestyle, you have to leave the old lifestyle behind. The Apostle Paul told the Colossian church in Colossians 3, verses 7 and 8, You used to walk in these ways, in the lifestyle you once lived, but now you must rid yourself of all such things. There are false beliefs and wrong behaviors that you were once a part of because you were in the kingdom of darkness. So going forward, you need to renounce or rid yourself of those things. When you renounce something, you're saying, I no longer believe those things are right. I don't believe they're true. The Apostle Paul said, for we have renounced the hidden things of shame. In a moment, I want to give you a list of some things that belong to the old kingdom that you used to be in. They're the kind of things that you need to renounce. But first, let me help you understand why you need to renounce these things. God has transferred you out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom where Jesus Christ is king. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14 says, For he has rescued us out of the darkness and gloom of Satan's kingdom and has brought us into the kingdom of his dear son, who bought our freedom with his blood and forgave all our sins. 
So because we're all citizens of God's kingdom, we should live the way God's people live, avoiding everything that represents the old life and the old thinking that we used to have. God wants us to break that connection that we had to the influence and lifestyle that's normal in the kingdom of darkness. We're just not a part of that kingdom anymore. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. That means our new lifestyle ought to shine like a light into the kingdom of darkness so that others can see just how good God really is. That means we need to avoid even looking like we're living the old life of the old kingdom. That's what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.22. Avoid every appearance of evil. When we avoid even the appearance of evil, it makes us a light to the world around us. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Jesus said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Today, you can pray and disconnect from those things that are connected to the old kingdom and the old lifestyle. Remember what we read earlier. You used to walk in these ways, in the lifestyle you once lived, but now you must rid yourselves of all such things. Even if you still have an addiction or a habit that needs to be broken, you can begin today to put a stop to the old lifestyle and begin living the new lifestyle that pleases God. So here's the good news. The things you used to do wrong, you did with your own power. But now that you have the Holy Spirit, you can live the new life with His power to help you do it. Let's pray a prayer together and let God know we want to live the life of His kingdom, not the kingdom of darkness. Heavenly Father, my life was filled with things that separated me from You. But You sent Jesus to rescue me from the kingdom of darkness. Now that I'm a citizen of the kingdom of God, I want to live like it and look like it. I want to be a light to the world. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to show you a list of some of the false beliefs and practices that are part of the kingdom of darkness and should be renounced. They're part of the old life that God has rescued you from, part of the culture that you are no longer a part of. I want you to put an X in the box next to the items that you once believed or practiced or even allowed in your life. And in a moment, we'll pray a prayer and renounce them. You might have questions about some of these, and I'll give you some information that will answer some of those questions for you in just a few minutes. If you're ready to renounce the things that belong to the life you used to live, then why don't you pray together with me right now? In the name of Jesus, I renounce everything that comes from the kingdom of darkness. I renounce behaviors and habits, lifestyles and beliefs that connected me to darkness and separated me from you. In the name of Jesus, I declare today that those things have no place in my life and by his power they are no longer have any hold on me the old life with its old patterns are done away with everything is made new in Jesus name amen hey I'm proud of you when Claudette and I made that decision and began living life by the power of God's Spirit everything changed for us we saw a new freedom in our lives we could start living the new life with a new culture, the culture of the kingdom of God. And you might need some help disconnecting from some of the things that we spoke about. And you might even need some wisdom on how to disconnect from people who are influencing you to live the wrong way. You might need some step-by-step -step help to break free from certain addictions. There are some great resources that are available to you that you can watch or listen to and some good counsel and input too. As you look at those and discuss this more, I want you to know that the real life is so much better than the spiritual death you once lived in. God has transferred you from the kingdom to another one, and it might sound like science fiction, but really it's as real as the God who made it possible. 
Jesus Christ. I can't wait until next time because we're going to talk about the four things that you need to get your real life going and make it strong. I'm John Power. I'll see you soon.